Hello everyone, let's get started. So this is a Java course for complete beginners. So if you don't have any Java related background, but you are interested in this uh, programming language, then you are watching a uh, right YouTube channel. So in these videos, I will cover Java in details, starting from what is a class, what is an object, uh, how we create object and so on. And after some time when we are quite familiar with Java, we'll also talk how we can apply our knowledge in Java to write some Java applications or even applications for Android. Uh, so about organization of this course. So we'll have a video posted on YouTube channel at least once a week. Uh, most probably, at least in the beginning, we'll have two videos per week. And once one topic is covered, then you'll have some practical work to complete. Uh, and then, after some time, a solution to this particular problem will be shared as well, so you could compare your solution with a solution you were supposed to compose, uh, let's say. Uh, still, if you have any questions or comments, of course, we can discuss that uh, later. Okay, and uh, this video is related to your environment setup. Uh, so I will guide you through all needed tools installation so you are prepared for working with Java. Uh, so basically two tools needs to be installed. So the first one is integrated development environment or EDE. Uh, there are quite many EDEs available for Java in our videos will use Eclipse, uh, so to download it, just proceed to eclipse.org slash downloads and select this one, the latest version is for March 2019. Uh, once you press download, you'll be forwarded to this screen and from where you actually download it. Uh, so, installation file is uh, quite small, about uh, 40 megabytes. Uh, so, once it's available, just launch it and you see something like this. Uh, so, you need to select which environment you actually want to install. You should select the first one, Eclipse EDE for Java developers. Then, you'll be asked where you want to install it whether you want to create some shortcuts and after that by pressing install you actually launch this process. Uh, so during this installation some additional packages will be downloaded uh, from the internet. Uh, okay, so that's one part. You shouldn't face any problems during it, but still if you have any problems or questions uh, just paste them below this video and yeah you can get some assistance from me okay so once you have installed Eclipse you should also get a Java development kit uh, so uh, to be able actually to uh, create programs to compile Java programs yeah so you can uh, get it from official Java website which is available under oracle.com uh, so as you might know Java is now owned by Oracle Corporation so in our videos we'll use Java Standard Edition version 8 uh, of course you can use for example version 9 if you wish um, but in these videos we'll stick to Java version 8 uh, okay so as, as you see uh, different Java versions are available for your operating system. Uh, so choose the appropriate one. So most probably you have Windows, 
uh, 64 bits like me and before downloading it you should accept license agreement and then download uh, so once it is downloaded just install it uh, uh, yeah so just once again to highlight so you need to get uh, exactly development kit yeah because actually two versions of java are shipped uh, by oracle the first one is java runtime environment which is used for launching java programs yeah so until you just launch already created programs that's okay to use it but as we are going to develop something we need development kit so please don't make this up java development kit is what you need okay so once you download it uh, jdk and installed it as well uh, then uh, just launch your eclipse and most probably it will require some some configuration i will guide you through them so just select window and preferences okay and in this search box just type jerry yeah, java runtime environments and here you can see install jerry's yeah so here before we start developing anything we should set our development environment to java development kit uh, like we previously downloaded so on most operating systems you will have at least uh, two environments like i have under program files java i have two versions of java the first one is java development kit which we should actually use uh, together with Eclipse and another one is my legacy Java version Java runtime environment which is used only for already uh, created Java programs uh, so you need to know this location to be able to set up Java development kit in your in your Eclipse uh, so most probably here you will not see Java development kit but Java runtime environment to add the right version of java click on add standard vm and here by pressing directory you will be asked to select a folder where you actually have this java uh, so it's here uh, so we just select java and java development kit yeah so we just need to select a root folder we don't need to select bin or whatever just a root folder of java development kit okay and by pressing ok ok it will be added so i have already added it that's why i have this error but you shouldn't have it so okay it's added now you just press finish and it will be added here okay and so once it is added just don't forget to check this box and press apply okay and that would mean that now you have the right version of java development kit to be able to produce some java programs okay so now let's just verify that everything works fine for that purpose let's create a a dummy uh, Java project and let's try to compile it okay to do that select file new and Java project okay let's give him a name just like test project for example test project one okay okay so here you should select Java runtime environment so if you already selected uh, right Java development kit in a previous step you should here have this JDK so just select this option use default yeah, which is uh, now based on the previous step it should be Java development kit okay so here we create a separate project it should be the same as as we have okay next 
Okay, so we are asked uh, a couple of questions here. Uh, but for now, just for testing purposes, uh, let's keep uh, editing anything. Just leave it as it is and press finish. Okay, now we have a, our project created with all uh, standard Java libraries added. Now let's create a Java file here. By creating a class, let's call it test class. So, just a heads up, uh, in Java all names of classes should start with a capital letter. Yeah, so test should be a big one. So, if you, for example, test with a small letter, so we don't have any errors as you see, but it is against uh, Java code conventions, about which we'll talk a bit later. So here it should be public. And here, check this box, public static void. Okay, it, uh, this uh, method will be generated automatically. So it's needed for us to be able to run a program. So don't think about what is it, why it's required and so on. So we'll talk about that during next videos. So for now we are just want to test whether the setup Eclipse plus Java development kit works or not. Okay? And here just just write uh, one string of, of code Italian. hello world. Okay. Let's save it. Control plus S. So we save it and by pressing Control plus F11 we actually launch our uh, program. So if everything was done uh, as it should. So here as an output on your console you should see Hello World. And that means that everything works correctly and we are ready to to proceed with learning Java. Okay, so for today that would be all. Uh, thanks to all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any any videos on our channel. So the next video I expect to be available during next two days and we'll start talking about most general Java concepts, that is class and object. Uh, but as it was said for today, it's all. Thanks for all for watching. Still, if you have any questions, comments, or you face some problems during installation, just just uh, paste your question or comment or whatever uh, below this video. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks to all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.